Hi guys, Jess here, Special Events Manager of Food Share, and it is my very first time ever building a pantry. So I thought, what better than to build it together? So our first step, as you can see, I'm sitting on this large circle. We place that down, and then we will be putting a ring of 39 cans on the outside of the corner. And then first, we have to make sure all these labels are facing outward, so that then when we double stack, it looks like that. Okay, so as you can see guys, this is what it's gonna look like. We have 14 cans that are double stacked in the middle with another one in the middle of that middle that's also double stacked. So once you have 15 total cans double stacked, you're gonna take your big circle, that's the big circle that we started with, and you're gonna place on top of not only those ones, but your inner rim of that outer pruner. Okay, after we put our big circle down, you're gonna take another 33 cans. You're gonna go outside of that perimeter, as you can see here, covering that circle board. See, so we're gonna go right on the outside of that. Make sure that label is sticking out. So you'll do two rows of that, and then we'll double stack this as well. All right, so after you've done your outer perimeter and you've double stacked it, you're gonna go ahead and take 18 total cans, putting nine down first, and then you're gonna double stack those. So 18 total, nine on the bottom, nine on top. All right, so after we have our double stack cans in the middle, we're gonna do our next biggest circle, and we're gonna put that on top, like so. After we have our second largest circle down, we're gonna do an outer layer of 26 cans. So again, make sure these are labels out. They're out a little bit past that ring so you can't really see it. Um, and that you have your cans, of course. So once we do that, we're gonna do this and then another layer of 20 cans. So 26 on the outside, 20 on the inside, double stack. All right, so once we have our 26 cans double stacked on the outside, followed by the 20 cans double stacked on the inside of the outside, you're gonna take four cans, place them like so right inside the middle there, and you're gonna make sure those are double stacked as well. After we have our eight cans, that are double, well, four cans that are double stacked in the middle to the eight total cans, you're gonna take your third largest circle, and you're gonna place that right on top. All right, so after we have our third largest circle placed, you're gonna do 21 cans on the outside perimeter. Once again, labels out. You'll make sure that those are double stacked, followed by a ring of 15 double stacks on the inside. All right, so once we have 21 cans double stacked on the outer perimeter, 15 cans double stacked on the inner perimeter, you're gonna take three cans, triangle and double stack those to make six total cans in the middle. All right, after you place your last circle, you're gonna do 12 cans on the outer perimeter of that circle, double stacked. And don't forget, labels out. Alrighty, once you have your outer perimeter double stacked, you're gonna take four cans and place them in the middle and double stack those. So you have eight cans total that are gonna go inside that middle. After you place your four cans double stacked in the middle, you're gonna get your very, very last circle, it's small, and you're gonna place that 
on top and that's where your tree top is going to go. Following that step, you're going to once again place your hands on the outer perimeter, like so. Complete your can tree. Ta-da! Here you have the completed can tree. Doesn't she look pretty? Just when you thought you were done, don't forget to decorate your tree. You can use garland, you can use ornaments, whatever will fit and whatever you can make work and stick.